Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what happens if I put the world's toughest smartwatch in pure liquid nitrogen. Will it survive? This watch is here is called the T-Rex 2 and it's a military grade smartwatch that has a titanium unibody and sapphire glass screen. So it's water resistant and it can even function at negative 30 degrees Celsius. So let's test how strong their sapphire glass is on their screen. I'll just grab this stone here and try to scratch the glass. And nothing, there's no scratch at all. So this is really scratch resistant screen here, pretty impressive. All right, so first we're gonna do the liquid nitrogen test. So this is way below the recommended temperature that Amazfit says that you can use the watch. They recommend negative 30 degrees Celsius as the lowest temperature, but we're going way lower than that, negative 196 degrees Celsius. That's negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. See how long till the screen goes out. Well, it's actually still on in there. No way. Well, it's turning a weird color. Look at that. You can see that the screen actually changed colors here. Now I know what's going on here because I've done tests with LED lights in a previous experiment where I dip them in liquid nitrogen. So when you drop the temperature of LED significantly, it actually shifts the light emitted towards the blue end of the spectrum. And that's kind of exactly what we saw here. It looked more bluish and just had a faint blue glow to it. Okay, I don't see any light coming out of it now. While we're waiting for this to get down to the liquid nitrogen temperatures, how cold is liquid nitrogen? Well, it's so cold that liquid nitrogen actually condenses the oxygen out of the air. So if you just get a bag of liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen will just start forming around the bag. In fact, it's so cold that carbon dioxide, the stuff you breathe out, actually becomes a solid. This is the white stuff that you sometimes see floating on top of liquid nitrogen, also called dry ice. Okay, it's been several minutes now, so this should be pretty close to liquid nitrogen temperatures now. Okay, let's see if this actually turns back on now. Okay, so this is negative 196 degrees Celsius. That is crazy. Now this is a cold watch. Looks like the liquid crystals are becoming solid again. So after we warmed it back up, it wasn't turning on, but I just charged it for a bit and then it turned right back on after that. Look at that. <laughs> it works. No way. <laughs> Kind of made some cracks in the LCD, not the actual glass itself, but the liquid crystals below it. But other than that, it works just fine. That is so cool. So it's nice to know if you ever fall in a vat of liquid nitrogen, your watch will survive, but you probably won't. Now these cracks only form because we put it at negative 196 degrees Celsius. If you keep it above negative 30 degrees Celsius, that won't happen. So the watch held up to the liquid nitrogen, but let's see if it's still waterproof or fluid proof. Okay, orange juice, what about some vinegar. Okay, what about gasoline? Oh man. <laughs> so look at that, still works just fine, like nothing. Also, what's really cool about the T-Rex 2 is that it's a smartwatch that has dual band and five satellite high precision positioning. So you can go anywhere with it and track where you've been or where you need to go. It also has route import and real time navigation on it. It's also passed 15 military standard toughness tests. And also it has an ultra long 24 day battery life. That's not 24 hours, that's 24 days of battery life with typical use. 
And I want to thank AmazeFit for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the AmazeFit T-Rex Pro, then you can click the link in my description and go to AmazeFit's website where you can participate in a chance to win a free T-Rex 2 of your own. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet or hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com. I sell my experiment boxes there. And you can also check out my wife's black hole painting where she paints the black hole with real muso black. It looks awesome, available for a limited time. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.